Hey everyone, good morning. It's Cindy from Cindy Gets Fit. Thought I would come in to you with my week 59 update from uh, WLS Y Gastric Bypass Surgery. I had March 31st, 2016 in St. Louis, Missouri with Dr. Christopher Egan. My starting weight was 232.4 and today I come into you um, at 135.4. I hit my goal of 135.4 around my one year anniversary and I have been able to maintain it. I've seen 134 and I fluctuated within 135 but I've not gone past that. And I feel like the secret to my uh, success thus far is working out. Of course I focus on protein. That's the first thing that I make sure that I uh, get in. So I start my morning off with a um, iced coffee with a protein shake, a caramel protein shake, and it's delicious. And I may have a little bit of yogurt uh, late, later in the morning with some granola. Um, for lunch, I will have um, almonds and a cheese stick and an apple and... Um, a little chicken melt sandwich that I get from Sam's. They're at 160 calories. And then for dinner, um, it's pretty much whatever my husband fixes. Um, sometimes I will kind of take and modify it to fit my needs, but um, I, pr I pretty much try to, to eat what he fixes for me because he does the cooking and he does the shopping, so, you know, and it, and it works out for both of us. The one thing that I do struggle with are sweets. So there's always candy in the office and there's always candy around here. And so I do catch myself nibbling on candy. Um, so I am going to have to get that in check because that grazing is what I think will really causes a lot of people a lot of problems as they continue on in their journey and I do not want to fall into that trap. <clears throat> but I am really good at working out five to six days a week. I do yoga and I do a treadmill here at home and <clears throat> I've often thought about maybe changing it up a little bit and doing a little bit more resistance type exercises but I haven't really gotten that far yet. I've even joined a softball team for the first time in many years. Haven't played yet because there's, for whatever reason, I've not been able to either make it to a, the game or they didn't need me that game or whatever. But I'm putting things back into my lifestyle, my routine that I haven't done in years. I go bike riding from time to time with the grandkids. Um... I just try to be more active, even if it's just at home and piddling around the house. Rather than sitting and watching TV, I'll piddle around and, you know, do a little bit of cleaning more so than my normal cleaning routine or just try to keep myself going. And even at work, I'll try to get up if I have an office day where I'm sitting more to get up and walk around and move to uh, loosen those tight muscles up and and um, just to keep myself a little bit more mobile. I hope that you all find this um, helpful. I know it's a short video. I want to prepare some more information to come to you guys because I think I've had a pretty successful year and I would like to um, share that success and maybe provide some information that will help someone else out along their journey. I um, have been very, very happy with my decision to have surgery, and um, I would like to be able to take the information that I've learned, the knowledge that I've gained, which most of it has come from YouTube videos, because as awesome as my physician's office is at preparing you for surgery, there's not a lot of information available for after surgery other than giving you advice on what to eat maybe up through the first three months. Um, but otherwise, there's not been, there was not a lot of um, information provided. And so if I had questions, I sometimes I didn't even know I had the questions and I would watch videos and I would learn from those that were going through the journey and um, 
you know, like, oh, that's really good to know because at some point that's going to come up. So, all right. Thank you all. It is Wednesday morning. I hope that you all have an amazing day. The sun is shining here and the temperature is gorgeous. So um, I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. And even if it's not, bring along your own little bit of sunshine. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.